Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to look at a fun trick that we can use a tanker for the purposes of basically acting as sort of an in-flight aircraft carrier slash underway replenishment kind of a situation. Uh, this particular technique is kind of fun because basically what you're going to be doing is using a tanker for the purposes of dragging an aircraft in long distance while keeping it completely fueled at the same time as not limiting your ability to kind of go back and forth like you see in a lot of supporting tracks. So let's go ahead and try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this group of F4Es here. I'm going to flip them up to afterburner so they suck up a lot of fuel here. So let's have them run it after burner for just a few moments here. Again, we want to suck that fuel down pretty quick. Give them something to do. I picked Phantoms because uh, they're notorious for not having the world's greatest fuel capacity here. Now, this is interesting. Uh, sitting up here, I've got my little KC-135. I'm going to go ahead and point these guys up here. They're sucking down their gas. They've only got 11 minutes of gas left. This is wonderful. This is working perfectly. I'll go ahead and I'll bring them up to the side. I'm going to go ahead and pause. we will go ahead and reduce them now to regular speed. Do a medium altitude. We'll say cruise. And now, of course, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the entire squadron to go ahead and refuel itself. So I'm going to go ahead and say select provider. I'm going to go ahead and pick this KC-135. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this KC-135 to go this way at loiter speed. So what's going to happen now is our buddies in the F4 Phantoms are going to come sneak up on the KC-135. Select the KC-135 real quick. And now I'm going to order the KC-135 to go up to military speed. Notice the KC-135 has to stay at loiter speed once refueling. However, if I click on my flight six here, you'll see they're all taking on fuel together. So what's happening in effect is this KC-135 is basically filling all the aircraft in the entire squadron up together and basically acting as the uh, world's largest external fuel tank. So what will happen now, of course, is uh, this aircraft will uh, suddenly run out of uh, fuel, I should say the KC-135, or the Phantoms will have uh, received their maximum allotment of fuel and be able to actually be disconnected. And now uh, they'll go ahead and start following this guy. So grab my KC-135, we'll run them up to cruise speed, and we'll grab our F4s and we'll kind of order them to kind of escort this guy for a little while. So they escort, they escort, they escort, they escort. And then I right click on them and say, oh, why don't you uh, go ahead and refuel again, please? Meanwhile, I'll grab my KC-135, order him in this direction. Notice he's gonna automatically slow down so that those phantoms can come sneak up behind him. And they're gonna plug in and how notice my KC-135 is again, acting as the world's largest external fuel tank here. And those guys are eventually gonna run out of fuel or the guy's gonna run out or we'll have to come back. And now this is such a slick trick because you can use this as a way to basically extend the range of an aircraft indefinitely as long as your refueling aircraft has the capability to do so. It's worth also noting that if you're creating a mission, let's say I wanna create like a fake mission here, Fake, press uh, land strike, if I press OK, coming down here where you have the configuration for the air-to-air -air refueling, you can actually tell it, the tanker, to follow the receiver's flight plan. Now, this is simply an automatic way to do what I was just doing a moment ago. Keep in mind, when he's done, he's going to return. But by doing it manually, you can basically do this indefinitely until you reach the actual destination you're going to do. So if I wanted to do something a little excessive here, and let's say I want to cross in the United States here, speed up time a little bit. I'll let these guys uh, suck down as much fuel as they can. Now, this is the longest range F4 Phantom flight ever. Okay, it's looking pretty bad. It's looking pretty bad. Let's go ahead and re uh, right click on them, refuel if possible. Select so tanker automatically. They're automatically going to see that buddy over there. He's going to start slowing down. Ooh, he's supposed to be slowing down. Let me go ahead and uh, refuel manually here. That way he auto slows down. There we go. So he's going to go ahead and know that somebody's coming up. Look at this. And now he's acting as an external fuel tank again. That blue circle, by the way, indicates uh, how little fuel this guy is actually going to have. But notice these F4s, which are only supposed to have a 100-mile range, about 150 at this one, about that. We've extended them to, uh, let's see here, how are we doing so far? About 1,000 nautical miles. So you can see just how effective that kind of tactical in-flight refueling can be. Enjoy.